1,2,3 Let's ready with Teacher Nadia Assalamualaikum and good day everyone English Year 6 with Teacher Nadia Ok class, we will be having a revision time together Just to recall what we have learned before So it is hoped that we could achieve To identify the errors in sentences Provide the correct answers and rectify the mistakes by rewriting the sentences into paragraph. Are you ready, my little cupcakes? Okay, so now let's recall what must you do to construct sentences. Yeah, a sentence must have at least subject and verb. For example, I learn, she sings, the baby cries, but most sentences need subject, verb, and complement to make it meaningful. For example, she sits on the wooden chair. We love to go to school every day. They buy a new car. In every sentence, try to identify the tenses used. Normally, there are four types of tenses used, namely, First, simple present tense, which involve with regular actions, routine activities, or facts about some things. Second, simple past tense, which is used when the time frame is stated like yesterday, last week, just now, and etc. Third, present continuous tense, which can be traced by having verb to be in present form plus verb with ing, for example, is walking. And the fourth, past continuous tense, which is something where verb to be in past tense form plus ing, for example, was eating. Please make sure that subject and verb in the sentence are in agreement. For example, singular subject must be followed by singular verb. What is singular verb? Singular verb is a verb with S. For example, she eats rambutans alone. And for the plural subject, it must be followed by verb in plural form, which is the root verb form or no S. For example, they sing a new song beautifully. Be alert with the use of singular or plural form. Charles, no. Children, yes. Moses, no. Mice, yes. And check the spelling. The number three must be spelled T H R E E, not T R E E. Writing must be spelled as W R I T I N G, not double T. That's all the brief yet precise explanation from me. Now, please proceed with the exercise given through Google Form. You can print out or copy into your E1, E2 or writing book. Do PM me for any inquiries, yeah?